Hi, my name is Jeff Talkington, and I'm a systems engineer with Palo Alto Networks. Today, we're going to talk about the evolution in cybersecurity and how it impacts your enterprise. Every company faces the same challenges. They all want to unlock business growth and profitability and maintain a long-term competitive advantage. In order to do this, organizations must quickly deliver new apps and services. For some companies, apps can directly generate revenue and be core to their business, such as Netflix, Uber, or Facebook. For nearly all companies, apps can enable core functions, simplifying internal workflows and driving better productivity, like Office 365 or CRM applications. However, when enabling new apps, we must not introduce business risk. We must not disrupt the business or expose the business to threats that result in a breach. For IT and security professionals, the fundamental problem is finding a way to maintain speed and confidence when delivering new apps without security slowing down the business. Let's take a look at what was considered the traditional security model. The network used to be simple. It has well-defined boundaries and was relatively straightforward to gain visibility into all of your applications, devices, and users. When companies deployed a new app or service, the IT team was generally the one hosting, maintaining, and delivering it within the bounds of the traditional perimeters. Today, managing the security of what was traditionally the perimeter has become incredibly complex. The security industry has continued to add technologies whenever there is a new threat vector to combat risk. Legacy approaches often mean you have dozens of different providers, all attempting to solve an individual challenge. The communication and coordination between these different technologies is manual, and you can spend endless hours trying to stitch them together and make them work with each other. The result is more risk and a need for more people-driven manual responses which increases operational expenses and doesn't scale. Organizations are stuck managing dozens of different vendors who are all delivering different capabilities. Unfortunately, this is just the beginning of our security challenge as users, data, and applications are going everywhere. The world changed and the traditional perimeter no longer exists for many organizations. Now, users, data, and applications are everywhere. Users have adopted SaaS applications, which are outside the control of the IT team, often referred to as shadow IT. Apps are often deployed in the public cloud, with many organizations using multiple cloud providers at the same time. Users continue to access services from anywhere, whether they are in branch offices or completely mobile. We need to have the ability to minimize risk beyond your perimeter for the data center, branch offices, mobile users, and cloud infrastructure and SaaS applications. Now, the same challenges we saw in the tra traditional perimeter have multiplied across all of our different locations. The current security architecture doesn't work today. Why? Organizations lack the foundational visibility across the, the network, endpoint, and cloud, meaning they can never achieve consistent prevention. Security teams are experiencing data overload and it's simply not possible for people to respond fast enough to the overwhelming volume of alerts and logs, especially when there are dozens of disparate technologies in the enterprise producing independent logs and alerts. And adversaries continue to automate their efforts, increasing the volume and complexity of attacks. Compounding the challenge is that cybersecurity traditionally relies on people to drive manual processes, often needing to coordinate action across dozens of security products. This adds up to a simple fact. As long as people are in the middle of a manual process to reduce business risk and prevent attacks, the bad guys will always win. So what steps do we need to take to prevent successful cyber attacks? The first step is to get visibility. Visibility across the network, endpoint, and cloud so that we can see 
all users, and all devices regardless of location. All applications, including public cloud, private cloud, and SaaS. And all traffic, including encrypted traffic. Gaining total visibility for all traffic lays the groundwork for all security actions. If we can't see threats, users, or applications, we can't reduce risk and prevent successful data breaches. The next step is to reduce our attack surface. After we've achieved visibility, we can be begin reducing the noise in the system by limiting the attack surface. By doing this, we can immediately remove the alerts and manual action needed to deal with this noise. It is important to note that this step comes before blocking of known threats. This step is important and something most organizations are not doing today. This set of capabilities is core to the next generation firewall itself and includes functions such as stopping unauthorized users accessing sensitive data, blocking applications that have no valid business function, and enabling ones that do, preventing users from accessing risky websites and downloading potentially malicious content, and segmenting the network into logical zones and controlling what users and applications can traverse those zones. Step three is to prevent known threats. This means that we reduce our alerts and manual processes even more by automatically blocking those threats we know to be bad. This should include exploits, malware, command and control, malicious websites and domains as well as the use of stolen credentials. Most legacy approaches will only prevent known threats over email or web browsing, but threats can be adapted to many applications and will often go beyond traditional email or web browsing delivery vectors. The networks and endpoints need to share a consistent set of protections, ensuring that attacks cannot enter the organization through an unprotected location and move laterally to achieve their ultimate goal. The protection should constantly be updated, delivered from the cloud, and sourced from the best threat intelligence available. Finally, we know attackers are not static, and the last step to reducing risk is automatically identifying and creating protections for unknown threats. The system must automatically make decisions with analytics using a collection of complementary techniques to identify unknown threats across the network endpoint, and cloud. These techniques include executing unknown malware in a virtual environment and on real hardware systems to observe its behavior, extract intelligence, and generate an automated protection. Using static analysis and machine learning on the endpoint to detect and enforce protections for malware that have never been seen before. Blocking exploit techniques on the endpoint which allows the system to block entire classes of exploits without prior knowledge of the specific attack. The goal is to reduce the risk of an unknown threat impacting the business, ideally before they can be successful. Even when you do everything perfectly, there's a small chance for an attack to be successful, and you can build the system to give you the tools to quickly find and neutralize any threats that get through by using behavioral analytics to identify active attackers in your organization and use threat intelligence to provide the right data and context to the threat analyst to speed response. What does an evolution in cybersecurity achieve? The ultimate goal should always be to get as close to preventing 100% of successful cyber attacks as possible through the application of automation and analytics with the recognition that prevention will never be perfect. However, when you aim for delivering the maximum amount of automated prevention possible, you minimize the need for manual response, which can't scale and adds immense complexity, time, and operational expense. Leveraging automation and analytics to deliver prevention will reduce noise, freeing up resources for higher value activities. Rapid response. When people aren't spending the majority of their day 
doing routine tasks that could easily be automated, they can quickly respond to threats that cannot be prevented through software. We must further enable defenders to respond to this small percentage of threats with the tools and data to easily identify anomalies and, atta and active attackers in the network. Once identified, there must be a way to automate human-driven response efforts back into protections as much as possible. Prevention should be enforced consistently for all users, data, and applications, whether they reside in the network, endpoint, or cloud, resulting in consistent security. Your approach must deliver new protections everywhere at the same time automatically. With consistent security, there are no gaps attackers can enter from to move freely within the organization. So how does Palo Alto Networks accomplish this? In order to enable organizations to safely roll out new services and apps, we built the next generation security platform to provide prevention through automation applied consistently across the network, endpoint, and cloud. Customers are already burdened with an escalating volume of threats that grows bigger each day, with legacy approaches simply adding more noise and manual effort. Palo Alto Networks believes in reducing manual response through prevention, analytics, and full automation of enforcement. Our approach allows customers to better leverage their skilled security staff and not spin cycles triaging logs and alerts. In order to achieve these prevention outcomes, we knew the platform had to be in all the places that users, devices, and applications are to achieve visibility and coordinated enforcement of protections. On the network with the next generation firewall, including extending this to remote users and locations with Global Protect and Global Protect Cloud Service. On the endpoint with traps where we completely replace legacy AV with a different approach that prevents malware and exploits. In the public cloud with our VM series next generation firewalls and for SaaS applications with Aperture. Since we are all in all the key locations, with each acting as a sensor, the platform is able to collect high quality data. We store and process this telemetry and log data in the cloud, which allows us to update the entire platform with intelligence gathered from all the other locations. This cloud delivered approach allows us to abstract capabilities from the infrastructure delivering security services from the cloud. Unknown threats are detected, protections created, shared, and enforced automatically. Our services seamlessly extend to the capabilities of the platform, including threat prevention to block known malware, exploits, and command and control activity on the network. URL filtering providing safe web access, including preventing users from visiting malicious and phishing sites. Wildfire to detect and prevent unknown threats, quickly sharing protections across the platform automatically. Autofocus, providing threat intelligence with context to drive proactive responses for unknown attacks. As a native part of Autofocus, MindMeld allows the aggregation of third-party threat intelligence and automates preventions from indicators of compromise. LightCyber allows you to find active attackers in the organization with behavioral analytics. Palo Alto Networks has created the operational platform for cybersecurity, natively integrating functions together, not just co-locating them. Our platform has a prevention orientation, allowing you to safely roll out new services and applications. Today, we've taken everything we've learned by building this platform and the cloud-delivered security services and disrupted the in industry once again. We recognize that we cannot do everything ourselves and customers need a way to rapidly consume new security innovations as, it, as they occur from any provider. However, the current approach of adding more technology to the security sprawl doesn't scale, often requiring more manual effort to access, evaluate, and adopt new technologies. To solve this, we've opened up the platform to enable third-party innovation allowing the development of cloud-delivered security apps 
as an extension of the platform customers already own and operate. The application framework allows customers to gain leverage from the sensors, rich data collected over time, and enforcement points available as part of the platform. This approach only works when you can gain information and take action on threats across the network, endpoint, and cloud. This means your next generation firewalls, traps, VM series firewalls in the cloud, and Aperture provide the visibility needed for apps to run. A key enabler of the framework is the logging service, providing a cloud-based central repository and consistent format of log data for all these locations. Apps further gain enrichment from threat intel data available as part of the globally correlated data from Wildfire. Beyond apps developed by Palo Alto Networks, the framework enables anyone to build apps, including third-party partners, MSSPs, and customers themselves. The application framework brings true openness and extensibility to the platform, allowing customers to leverage the most innovative security technologies as a seamless extension of the Palo Alto Networks platform. We believe the framework radically disrupts the way security will be created, delivered, and adopted. When you implement the platform, there are fundamental outcomes Palo Alto Networks can deliver to businesses. Reduction of manual processes by reducing the attack surface and removing noise in your environment. Prevention of successful data breaches through automated, consistent protections across the, the network, endpoint, and cloud. Better leveraging the existing staff you have, ensuring they are focused on higher value activities like hunting for threats software cannot find. And making better use of the technology you have invested in by allowing you to quickly add new capabilities and apps from any provider. Now, you can ensure new services and applications can be delivered safely to drive business growth while reducing your attack surface, preventing breaches, and reducing security operating expense. Thanks for watching. Stay secure.